Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch in British history. The dedicated royal has spent more than six decades on the throne and has supposedly ruled out ever abdicating. But which of these ten royals do you think would be the best to follow in her footsteps? Queen Elizabeth II is 93 years old and is as dedicated a monarch as ever. While her husband Prince Philip, 98, retired from royal duty in 2017, the Queen shows no sign of slowing down yet. After 66 years on the throne, the Queen will be a hard act to follow. Prince Charles is next in line to the throne, followed by his son Prince William and then his little boy, Prince George. But out of these 10 royals, who do think would make the best next monarch? Queen Elizabeth is an exemplary head of state and has performed the role for more than six decades. Since her coronation in 1953, the Queen has dealt with 14 British Prime Ministers, weathered the tragic death of Diana, Princess of Wales and witnessed the arrival of the Internet among other huge changes. Throughout these massive societal shifts, the Queen has remained an apolitical and steady head of state. These ten royal are the next in line to the British throne, which of them do you think would be best suited to the role? 1. Charles, Prince of Wales, born 1948, 70. Prince Charles is the Queen's oldest son and first in line to the British throne. While it is generally accepted that Charles will be the next UK monarch, his suitability for the role has been brought into question over the years. In an explosive 1995 Panorama interview, Charles's then estranged white Princess Diana openly questioned whether he was fit to be king. Diana told BBC journalist Martin Bashir, there was always conflict on that subject with him when we discussed it, and I understood that conflict, because it's a very demanding role, being Prince of Wales, but it's an equally more demanding role being king. And being Prince of Wales produces more freedom now, and being king would be a little bit more suffocating. And because I know the character I would think that the top job, as I call it, would bring enormous limitations to him, and I don't know whether he could adapt to that. While monarchs are meant to maintain an apolitical stance, Prince Charles has raised eyebrows in the past because of his alleged attempts to influence government policy. Former cabinet minister David Blunkett claimed the Prince of Wales tried to persuade Tony Blair's government to expand grammar schools. Prince Charles married Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall in April, 2005. The Prince is president or patron of more than 420 charities including the Prince's Trust which he founded in 1976. 2. Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, born 1982, 37. Prince William, Duke of Cambridge is second in line to the throne after his father Prince Charles. Prince William is married to Kate, Duchess of Cambridge they have three children together, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. William supports the Queen by carrying out public duties and is also involved in a wide range of philanthropic projects. Prince William's key charitable causes include environmental conservation, helping young people out of homelessness, tackling online bullying and mental health awareness. In 2017 the Duke spearheaded the Heads Together mental health campaign with the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry. 3. Prince George of Cambridge, born 2013, 6. Prince George is Prince William and Kate's oldest son and recently celebrated his sixth birthday. While the young royal is years away from becoming king he is already showing his potential. George shines in front of the cameras at royal events and shows natural charisma. While the prince is slightly shyer than his younger sister, pictures of them playing together at the polo last month suggests he has a strong character of his own. 4. Princess Charlotte of Cambridge, born 2015, 4. Princess Charlotte is Prince William and Kate's only daughter and their middle child. The young princess has wooed royal fans from a young age, often waving to crowds at public events. Several new portraits of the princess, taken by photographer Mum Kate, were released to mark her fourth birthday in May. At just four Charlotte seems to show the same kind temperament and grace of her great-grandmother, the Queen. 5. Prince Louis of Cambridge, born 2018, 1. 
While Prince Louis only turned one turned one in April, the royal tot is already a force to be reckoned with. He stole the show at the Queen's Trooping the Color birthday celebrations this year as he waved to crowds from his parents. Earlier this year he was snapped careering around a wilderness garden his mum had designed for the Chelsea Flower Show. The little prince made Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex and his mother Kate roar with laughter at the polo last month as he tried on his mum's sunglasses. Lewis might still be very young but he's already exhibiting huge personality. 6. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, born 1984, 34. Prince Harry grew up in his big brother's shadow and unlike Prince William, was not pigeonholed as Britain's next king. This meant Harry enjoyed relative freedom as a youngster and was labeled the charming and cheeky younger prince. Since his marriage to Meghan Markle in 2018 and becoming a dad this year, it seems Harry has mellowed out. The ex-army helicopter pilot has opened up about mental health and is a champion of environmental causes. He recently revealed in an interview with primatologist Jane Goodall that he and Meghan plan to have no more than two children for the sake of the environment. While Harry was recently slammed for traveling to a Google climate change conference by private jet, it seems the prince has grown up into a serious stately figure. 7. Archie Mountbatten Windsor, born 2019, 3 months old. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son Archie Harrison is the youngest royal in the immediate line of succession. Baby Archie is just 3 months old and has only made one public appearance. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are keen to raise Archie outside of the royal bubble and Archie has not been given an official title. As seventh in line to the throne, it is unlikely that Archie will ever become king but it will be interesting to see how the royal finds his feet within the family as he grows up. 8. Prince Andrew, Duke of York, born 1960, 59. Prince Andrew is the Queen's third child and is eight in line to the throne. The Duke of York's marriage to Sarah Ferguson which ended in 1996 has seen the prince make headlines more than once over the years. While Andrew and Fergie are divorced, their ongoing friendship is subject to much speculation with some royal commentators claiming the couple could remarry. Prince Andrew and Fergie have two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. The Duke helps the Queen carry out royal engagements and promotes economic growth within the UK. Nine. Princess Beatrice of York, born 1988, 31. Princess Beatrice is the first daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson and celebrated her 31st birthday this week. BEA is the patron of a number of organizations and focuses most of her charitable work around children's welfare and education. She is the global ambassador for Street Child, a charity founded by her mother Sarah Ferguson. Princess Bea has been swamped by royal wedding speculation since her relationship with Italia property tycoon Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi went public in March. While the couple have not confirmed their engagement, they are rarely seen apart. 10. Princess Eugenie of York, born 1990, 29. Princess Eugenie is 10th in line to the throne and the second daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. The princess delighted royal fans last year with her spectacular royal wedding to long-term boyfriend Jack Brooksbank. The ceremony was held at Windsor's Frogmore Chapel a matter of months after Prince Harry and Meghan were married in the same spot. Princess Eugenie charitable ventures include being a patron to the Royal National Orthopedic Hospital and supporting the Teenage Cancer Trust.